Boys, girls, ladies, gentlemen, traps, trans, whatever you want to consider yourself, welcome to a brand spanking new series here on the channel. And uh, I hate standing here in front of the camera like this, so let's, let's go. Pronto. Before we get into actually building, there are a couple of things I'd like to address. So, uh, yeah. So I've talked about this in the past in streams and videos and all sorts of stuff. And, uh, well, I'm extremely hyped. So hopefully you are too. I think you guys are. Hopefully. This is the shopping cart go-kart series. So I am actually going to be fabricating and turning a shopping cart into a go-kart. How we're gonna do that, just stay tuned. And before we go any further, add this playlist to your playlist, like save this playlist. So let's zoom out a little bit, go hit that little plus icon, and you're gonna add this video and all other videos in this series to your playlist so you can just click on it and watch all of them because this is like a build series another thing i'd like to address is the boosted boys and well there's a couple of other like youtube channels that do this kind of thing and this particular build is heavily inspired by the boosted boys shopping cart build i personally like i think that looks super sick that's kind of what we're going for so i'd like to say i'm not trying to copy them I'm just taking inspiration from that and a lot of inspiration, but I want to make it my own in some way. How we're going to do that, I don't know, but hopefully we'll find a way because I really love that cart, but I want it to be my own. You know, I don't want it to be like copy paste. I watch the Boosted Boys pretty much every day and I love what they're doing on the channel, but there's a couple of like gray areas in the build. On the Boosted Boys channel, there isn't really a step-by-step -step guide on the shopping cart go-kart. So that's kind of what we're doing here. We're gonna like actually make a build series rather than throwing in little bits, little updates here and there. I want this to be primarily, if not like 100% just shopping cart, go kart. Don't ask. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. All right, so here it is itself. Man, did I do my hair? Do I look all right? Do I look okay? So here are the carts themselves. We're gonna be using this bigger one, which is uh, not from a certain store. Now, no, we didn't steal these. They're just a couple miles away from the store, actually. So, yeah. Oof. So you're not gonna be able to hear anything once we're actually in there because of uh, things going on. So basically, what we're gonna do. We're just going to detach the cart from the frame right down there, most likely with the sawzall. Then we'll have our top and our bottom. We're also probably going to get rid of the kid rack right there because, well, I don't have a kid. I hope. I swear to God, she train to go, go, go. I think she train to go, and everybody. To begin the transformation, the first thing I decided to do was cut off the bottom rack where the casters are, as well as that extra little shelf. That's gonna make it a lot easier to work with. That's where most of the mass and the weight is on the cart. Makes it a lot easier to move around and work with. Now there were two pretty good sized beads holding on the bottom rack on either side of the cart. So four beads total. I couldn't cut those with the sawzall, so we ended up switching over to an angle grinder, which got the job done quite easily. So next we're going to be removing all these disgusting bumpers and grips. So we're starting with the handlebars. It's very simple, popping the nipples out of the holes. Next I'm going to be showing you how to remove these side bumpers in the front corners. Simply pop the hat off with a flathead screwdriver. You may have to wedge it in between the mesh of the cart. There's little tabs, pop those out, and the top should come right off. From here, you can use a combination of needle nose or just regular fat old pliers, and you need to bend the ends of the wire straight so you can pull it out, and then that bumper is gonna pop right off. 
I swear to God, I love that bra, bro. She trained to go. Now, as you will see in a minute, I did cut the kid rack off off camera. The battery on the camera died, so, you know, that's whatever. Pretty self-explanatory. Just cut it off with an angle grinder. There were little tabs from the cart still remaining, so we will have to remove those in just a minute. But for now, we're going to pop off this child seat cushion thing. That's not a cushion because it's made of plastic. But this is very similar into the handlebars where you just shove a flat head in there and pop it right off. So now that we have removed the bottom rack, the child seats, all the unnecessary plastics and extra tabs, we are pretty much good to go. We have the skeleton of the cart all set up and ready to be built into the actual go-kart. Next we're just going to do a little bit of preparation on the steel tubing we have. Although I don't know the sidewall, it is one and a quarter inch tubing, we got this from a metal supply place. I didn't get any footage there because it's all blue collar and like, you know, kind of depressing and I didn't want to film there because that would be really awkward and they're really hard working people. Anyways, another thing about this build, I want to be super open financially. I want you guys to know how much it costs to build, you know, what it takes, all that stuff. So this tubing was $33 and I have the receipt on video, you know, all that stuff. Like I'm being completely open here. So one and a quarter inch was $33 after cutting fees. An actual purchase price that's pretty good deal in my opinion so to prepare the tubing all I'm doing is I'm degreasing it and I'm removing the burrs I don't know the name of the sander itself but it's just a cheap Harbor Freight air powered sander that long skinny one you can get up inside and deburr from the inside out I also used another sander but once again the camera died so I missed that part but I used a different sander to deburr the outside so they are fully deburred all four corners now, if you are unaware, when you do buy any form of metal stock like this, it comes with oil all over the outside to prevent rust, which it does a pretty good job, but it makes a mess, and well, I don't really want to get dirtier than I have to. And you can see just from touching it a little bit, my hands are already completely black. So obviously, I want to remove as much of that as possible. Now that we've actually started progress on the cart, the piping should be staying in my garage where it won't get too rusty over the next couple of weeks. Now, yes, I do know that that's there to protect it, but we're going to have to remove it anyways when we go to weld, so why not just do it now? Hey guys, I'm, I'm not in the frame, I know that. I'm pretty disgusting after working on the cart today, so we're going to pause for today, resume some other time for part two, come back for part two if you like what you saw today. Leave a like on the video, subscribe if you're new. I appreciate all of you so very much. You're the ones making this possible. So thank you all, I appreciate it. If there's anything you'd like to see me improve on, please let me know by the next video. So comment right now. You know, you can do this better, less cinematic, more informational, I don't know, whatever you want. So I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. If you didn't know, I live in like Austin, Texas, and it's blazing hot right now. It's super humid, and we don't even have internet. So like, I don't know when this is going up. But if you saw it, that's good. It's good. Thank you. Okay, I'm I'm ending this now before it gets even worse. Oh my lord, oh my god, that girl she train to go. Any hour, any minute, man she down the road. She's so flawless, never worry about no other hoe. Man, I love that broad, I swear to God, she train to go, go, go. I think she train to go, and everybody knows that girl she train to go.